here, Damien Duff, starting off in management with Shelburne, legendary Irish player, did it all as a player, club and country. Um, Damien, you've, I just want to get your take on it as, as well as Brian's. You, you've been in that situation, long career in England, come back to live in Ireland, but you, re you end up sitting here with the likes of us. Um, what do you make of Damien's move into management and, and his decision to go into I, go down I think, that line? I think it's brilliant for him and it's a, a, an unbelievable coup for Shells to get him. You know, Damien has obviously decided that the management is really wants to go to and the path he's taken. You know, he started working in, in, in Rovers Academy and then he spent some time in Scotland, some time with the national team. Um, and and he, this is his, the next natural progression. And I think that if he does well here, now, how we quantify well with Shelburne, a newly promoted team, remains to be seen and, and what ambitions he actually has. But, you know, there's four European spots available. I'm pretty sure a, a spot in Europe will be high on his list. Um, but, you know, he's got enough of a profile that if he does well at Shells, he, he can get a manager's job across the water. So he, it's the right path for him. And I think it's a great coup for Shells. Um, you know him, Brian, since he was a boy. You had him in the youth teams and in the senior international teams. And indeed, he, he name-checked you uh, today when he said Talco Park's a very special place for me. I had great memories with Brian uh, playing here back down the, back down the years. So uh, how do you fancy his chances of, of glory in the, in the managerial game? <laughs> well, look, I, I hope, first of all, that Shelbourne can hold on to Talco Park because there's a bit of a campaign around that now. They're supposed to be moving to Dalymount as a share with, with Bowes. I don't, in my personal opinion, it wouldn't be great for them. But uh, from Damien's point of view, he's, he's a deep yeah. knowledge of the game. He's, look, the most technical uh, player probably ever played for Ireland in, in terms of his ability in the attacking part of the field. But he's great experience. He would have learned from a lot of coaches along the way. He, Damien said he, he served a good apprenticeship. He's been coaching at youth level. He was at, at uh, Shamrock Rovers for a while and he worked with the first team and his spell at Celtic with, with Neil Lennon went very well. His family wanted to come home. He wanted to come home. I, I don't think he wants to go back and work mm. outside Ireland, certainly in the short term. But yet he wants to stay involved in the game. And he's always been good to take on a challenge, I think, too. He's, he's taken risks. There's a risk for him in doing this. I think he's the, the highest profile person who's ever to come back, to, ever to come back to get involved in Irish football since since Johnny Giles, when, when John Giles no came back to Damien. Rovers. Initially, uh, we, at that time, you know, it was a major thing. Giles came back from West yeah. Brom. And, um, you know, with Ray Tracy and Paddy Mulligan, Eamon Dunphy at that time, with big ambitions. But Damien, you know, 100 inter international yeah. cast for Ireland. So I, I think he's a great signing for Shelbourne, and I, I hope it goes well from. It won't be for short of graft and effort. He's a yeah. great hard worker, which is a great enthusiasm, which is, is, is the most important thing when you start now and when you, when you stick with it. Yeah. You've got to retain yeah. that. And we wish him well, and it's great for the League of Ireland, isn't it, to have some of that profile experience. Sure. And you know, imagine all the players that have been working under him. Uh, it's going to be great for them. And we wish him all the best uh, in the new career.